Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. Um, I would like to start a series of lectures uh, dedicated to calculation of trigonometric functions for different basic angles. Um, I would like to refer you back to the lecture about what are these basic angles. Uh, in the first quadrant, obviously, it's 30, 45, 60. Um, and then every other quadrant actually symmetrically repeats these values. Um, so let's just start from sine. That's my first lecture. Out of six, for each function, each trigonometric function, sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, I will basically use the same methodology and the same values of angles, which um, uh, where I will cal calculate the value of trigonometric functions. And always I will use the unit circle and coordinates of the points which are representing these particular angles. Um, I do suggest you to do it yourself first and then listen to whatever the lecture I have. So today is sign. Uh, to calculate the value of the sine for all different angles, uh, basic angles, um, I usually use this unit circle, and for each point, each angle, um, I have to find exactly where is the point on this unit circle which represents this particular angle. And then, all I have to do is to determine the coordinates of this point. Now, obviously, I don't remember coordinates for all these basic points. It's three points on each quadrant plus the diametrically opposing zero and ones. Um, so I don't remember it. So everything what I'm doing right now is basically a derivation from something which I do remember. And the only thing which I do remember is such a degree, which is pi over, nine, pi over 6. That's the only angle I remember. And the only thing which I remember that the catheters opposite to the uh, 30 degrees angle is equal to one half of hypotenuse, and hypotenuse is equal to one because it's the radius of the unit circle. Everything else I'm going to derive. So, one half is ordinate of the point A. Now, what's the abscissa? Obviously, I'm using the Pythagorean theorem. This square plus this square is equal to one. So, as it's easy to x square plus one half square is one quarter equals to one, so x is equal to three quarters, and x squared, I'm sorry, and x is equal square root of three over two. So I derived that. Fine. Then my first angle is. 45 degrees. I don't have to remember the value of ordinate and abscissa because they are equal. And again, from the Pythagorean theorem, I know that x squared plus x squared, both of them are x, is equal to 1. So x is equal to square root of 2 over 2. So I know these as well. square root of 2 over 2. And finally, the 60 degrees Now, this triangle is very much like this one. Because if this angle is 60, then this one is uh, if, if this one is 60, then this one is 30 degree, right? right? So the abscissa in this case of this point would be half of the hypotenuse.
So this would be half, and then this would be square root of 3 over 2. Now, basically that's it. That's all I need. And again, I remember only the one half. Everything else is derived. Now let's talk about angles which I have. 2 pi over 3. Now 2 pi over 3, pi is 180 degrees, right? So 2 pi over 3 is 120, which is here. This is 120 degree. Now this is 90 degree. Now these are symmetrical, right? If this is 60, then this is 90. Uh, this is 90, this is 60, so this is 30 degree. And this is 30 degree. Which means that these points are symmetrical. I proved that theorem in the lecture about basic angles. Which means that their abscissa and ordinate are, are the same as far as their absolute value is concerned. As far as the signs, well, ordinate, projection onto y is the same, but abscissa projection on the x is different by sign from this particular uh, point. So this particular point has square root of 3 over 2 and abscissa 1 over 2, right? Now this, this one is square root of 2, square root of 2 over 2. That's, that's actually this one. Let me put it a little bit higher. Okay. Square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. And, uh, and uh, actually it's vice versa. I'm sorry. This is origin. It's 1 half square root of 3 over 2. And here we have square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half for this point. So this point has exactly the same uh, ordinate as this one, which is square root of 3 over 2. And that's what we are interested in. We are interested in the sign. The whole lecture today is about sign. So the sign is an ordinate, and ordinate is the same. So basically, the sign is equal for this square root of 3 over 2. Next, 3 pi over 4, it's 135, it's this point. Now, what's the symmetry here? 45, this is 90 minus 45, and this is 90 plus 45. So these points are symmetrical, which means they are... Uh, on, on, on the same ordinate. So ordinate in this case is equal to square root of 2 over 2. 5 pi over 6, it's this. It's uh, 150 degree. And the symmetry is obviously between this point and this point. This is 90 minus 60. This is 90, 90 plus 60. Symmetry is so I have the ordinate one two one one half. Now that's exactly the methodology which I am using, and I will continue to use for these angles and for all other functions. So today is a sign, so I'm interested only in ordinate, but basically it's exactly the same for anything else. I start from the first quadrant and then I use the symmetry to spread uh, information around. Now pi, pi is this. 1H. Well, you don't have to really do anything for this, no symmetry, because you obviously understand that position of this point has coordinates minus 1, 0. Ordinate is 0, so it's 0. Sine is equal to 0. Minus pi over 6. Now, minus pi over 6, minus 30 degree, means we go uh, uh, clockwise. Clockwise, by 30 degrees. Now, here you can use, this is minus 30 degrees. Now, here you can use two different uh, methodologies, if you wish. Number one, you can always remember that the sign is an odd function, which means it changes um, the uh, value of the function if argument uh, changes its value. Uh, 
I mean, it changes the sign of the way, uh, of the function if the argument changes the sign. The absolute value is retained. And here it's actually visible quite well. Because if you are from the plus 30 go to minus 30, then these points are symmetrical relative to this diameter. And since they are symmetrical relative to the x-axis, they are projecting on the same x point, which is abscissa is exactly the same. But ordinates are equal in absolute value, but opposite in sign. Which means if I'm talking about sign, and sign is an ordinate, all I have to do is change the sign, uh, uh, the sign of the ordinate. So it used to be one half for 30 degrees for pi over 6. Now for minus over uh, pi over 6, it will be minus half. Minus one half. Pi over 4 with a, with, with a minus, again, minus pi over 4 is this. It's minus 45 degrees. And obviously this point is symmetrical to this one. So I have to change the sign of uh, its ordinate, minus square root of 2 over 2. Uh, next one is minus p over 3, which is here. It's minus 60 degrees. Obvious symmetry with this point. So the ordinate is changing the sign. So it's minus square root of 3 over 2, minus 2 pi over 3. It's minus 120 degrees. Something like, well, a little bit higher. A little bit more, something like this. Now, this is 120 degree clockwise. Now, this is 120 degree counterclockwise. So, again, these points are symmetrical. So, I have to take this one, take its ordinate, and change its sign. And the sign was, uh, and the ordinate was, oh, I missed one, okay, missed minus pi over 2. I missed this point. Minus pi over 2, which is, which is minus 90 degree. Obviously, the uh, abscissa is equal to 0, ordinate is equal to minus 1, so it's minus 1 here. Okay, now minus 2 pi over 3 is this one. It's minus 120 degree, this is minus 90. Uh, so that would be square root of 3 over 2 with a minus sign. Minus square root of 3 over 2. 3 pi over 4, it's this one. It's minus 135. Obvious symmetry with plus 135, which is square root of 2 over 2. So here we have minus square root of 2 over 2. Minus 5 pi over 6. That's this guy. It's minus 150. Symmetry is with this one. Now 150 pi over 6 was 1 half the ordinate. And so I will have minus 1 half. And finally minus pi. Minus pi is exactly the same point as plus pi. Doesn't really matter. And this ordinate is equal to zero. Abscissa is minus one, ordinate is zero. So that's how I deal with all the calculations for all the basic um, angles for the sine. So first, I am implementing this little picture. I know a couple of values here. Whatever I don't know, I calculate based on the Pythagorean theorem. Everything else is done through the symmetry. And that's how I encourage you to basically uh, approach these problems. I don't think you can remember all these values for all these angles for all the different uh, functions. Uh, six functions, uh, whatever number of these values, and 10, 12, whatever. It, it's a huge number of uh, numbers that you have to remember. There is no need for this. You need a system, and the system using one or two basic principles and the symmetry gives you everything. Well, that's it for a sign. Next would be cosine. Thank you.